Hello, Days of Our Lives fans. This is for Thursday, October 17th. Please like, subscribe, and share if you know someone that enjoys the show. Well, Brady gets a visitor in jail. Well, not a visitor, a cellmate across the hall, a cellmate. And it's Fiona because she's been arrested for what she did to Sarah. So he grills her, chews her up, spits her out, and she constantly apologizes. And she explains everything to him, which still doesn't make him feel any better. You still just left me to rot, right? You know, and she said, I couldn't bear it. I couldn't bear it. My son would know that I'm still drinking. You know, he didn't give her a bit of pity with all her tears. Meanwhile, Sophia has got her claws deep into the taster. And, you know, he's, he's, he's falling for it because she's doing a good job at it. And I agree with what she said to Holly. You just giving to me, giving him to me on a silver platter, I'll gift wrapped. Holly deserves to lose him, you know. I don't know. I don't like Sophia either. And she mentions how when she finds out that it's uh, Fiona, she tells him how she, she threatened her and stuff, and he wants her to testify in court against her. And, of course, she's happy to help him. He'll, she'll come to court and do whatever. And they're sitting on the floor during their lunch period just talking. And she's like, I bet Holly will come running back now. And he said, well... You know, I don't know. We'll see what happens. And they end up hugging, and she almost kisses him, but the bell rings. A ding, a ding, a ding. So, um, Xander's heartbroken, and it's sad. He's really crying about his crazy mother. And they decide they have to go talk to EJ and get Brady out of jail. And EJ's like, nope, I'm not ready to release him yet. I don't see any reason to. Both the cases are not even related. I mean, EJ is such a little prick sometimes. And, uh, you know, he says, Yes, I'm, I'm familiar with your ever-changing memory, Sarah. Unless you want to tell me the whole story. Of course, they're not going to tell him the whole story. But, because, you know, that won't look good. But he's like, come on, man. It's bad enough I accused him. And he's in, sitting in jail for something he didn't do. You know, Sarah remembered and Brady remembered too. That's that's why he got out. So you know, don't know what he's gonna do. But next thing we know, we see him going down to Brady's cell and saying, "It's your lucky day. Get your stuff and get out before I change my mind." What a nice guy. <laughs> I still love EJ. You know, Brady just grabs his jacket, gives Fiona a dirty dog look, and off he goes. Holly is shown up to be the maid of honor for Chad and. Fabby's wedding here. She's on the phone with her brother and he's telling her Clyde told him something, but he's going to take care of it and that means shoot Chad. So Fabby's showing off her dress and twirling around and uh, everybody's real happy, lighthearted. She looks beautiful. Chad looks great as always. Wow. And then um, EJ's, uh, JJ's back. So JJ comes to officiate the wedding. This is the first time he's seen Abigail since she came back as Fabigail. Fake Abby. And uh, he's he's going to marry them. So they go to, Chad's like, oh, i got to get my phone for some music. And Fabby's like, oh, I'll get it. And she picks it up and she sees this message that says she is not Abigail from Kayla. So then she gets real nervous. But they go on with the ceremony, and they get married, and it's a nice little ceremony, it, it seems like to me. But then, in something J.J. was saying about his mother, didn't jive with something that Fabby had just told her earlier, and she questions her about it, and that's when we went off. That's a wrap.